Man, what is up with the squad? It's your favorite auntie with Uncle Tendencies, and I am here with none other than Jalela Ligon, 2029 class, second year playing varsity at Malden High. Going to be starting point guard this season coming up. Jalela, how are you? Good. I'm so happy to be sitting down here with you. Going to get right into the interview because we want to let everybody know who you are and what they can expect in this game we got coming in 2029 so tell me first when did you first fall in love with basketball um probably when i was like four because that's when i first started playing like really started playing like on the actual court and stuff so say that again say it again because i don't think people they're not gonna be able to hear you good you was like probably at four because I, I was on the court like nobody's at four just out playing basketball on the court that is exceptional. That is exceptional. Who who gave you your love for the game? Uh, my dad. Your dad? Okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I got my love for the game from my dad, too. So, how does it feel to make the varsity team as a seventh grader? Uh, it feels good. Okay. What, tell me, what your what, what has your basketball journey been like so far? What, what motivated you to start playing outside of outside of your dad giving you giving you the, the, the game? Uh. Probably just myself wanting to like stay at it and like continue to grow as a player. Okay, okay. So now you you playing you playing varsity basketball at the high school. You made the team as a seventh grader. You're gonna be in the eighth grade this year. Is that right? Okay. So how are you managing the expectations and challenges between playing at high school at a vars varsity level while still being in middle school? Um. I just feel like I'm ready for it. Like, I feel like I'm able to do it at a young age. And like, I just feel like my confidence is, has like, it makes me be able to do it. Okay, okay. So are, are you, are you, uh, are you practicing every day? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so like, what are the rules? Like you gotta get all your homework done first? before you can play basketball how does that how does that how does that uh work out i think i have to get good grades and i have to keep up with my schoolwork and all that okay okay so who's been your biggest supporter so far throughout your throughout your basketball career my dad your dad okay okay so we're gonna be moving into starting this year right how is your role? How is your role evolving from last year? And what are you looking forward to in, in being a starting point guard? Because that means like you're not just starting, you also like the, the floor general. You're gonna be the leader out on the floor, right? So talk to me about that. Well, last year I was a sixth man, so I was like the first person coming off the bench. But then like this year I'll already be on the court and um I'll be controlling the offense and getting my teammates involved and getting myself involved and Putting our team in the best position to win. I love that. Love that. So, what are some of the biggest differences that you've noticed between like middle school basketball and, and high school varsity basketball? Uh, probably the tempo in the of the game and like the physicality. Okay. Can you describe some of like the training or drills that have helped you improve the most to be able to to be where you are right now? Uh, probably like ball handling and stuff and shooting like shooting off the dribble like be, being able to create my shot i like that how do you how do you work on building chemistry with your older teammates being being in the eighth grade there um probably like getting them to trust me like so they know that i'm able to i'm able to be out there with them and not just like i'm some young person on the court just there to be there Okay, so what are you doing? To, what are you doing to make them respect your game? You, you scoring? You showing them that you can score? You showing them that you can do it all? What do you think is the most important? Uh, like deep, like I can score and I can play defense. Like I'm not afraid to like go at you and like not play timid or anything. Oh no, you can't be playing eighth grade playing varsity. You can't be scared. We know you're not scared. We, we, you, you can't have a scared game if you're doing that. Um, what's been the most challenging um, game that you played last season? And how did you handle it? Uh, probably the games against Burns. The first, like the first half, 
it wasn't really like going good for me, but my coach pulled me out and she told me to calm down and relax and just go go in and try to help the team in the best way as possible. Okay. Uh, the, the, how many? What, what was your what were your stats from last year? Um, probably like two points a game. Okay, but that but that but that's starting at, at the varsity level. Like, so you gotta be proud. You gotta be proud about that. Like, you're a seventh grader playing varsity, getting, getting two points a game. Like, not not junior varsity, not middle school, right? Like that that's that's big. That's big, and then you going from two points a game to now starting. So that says a tremendous a lot about like your work ethic. I'm I'm I, like I'm I'm impressed because that says that you had to do a lot with with dedication, your work ethic, your passion for the game, being able to learn the game at a varsity level. So I I, I love that. I love that. Um, what aspect of your game are you focusing on improving this year? Um, probably. Like controlling the flo- like controlling the the floor and pushing pushing the ball and having good tempo and stuff. Okay. Can you share a moment from last season that you're really proud of? Probably getting the six man of the six man of the year award. Okay. Okay. What are your goals uh, for this upcoming season? Uh, just do my best and try to help my team win and just get better okay what, what, was, what was your record do you know off, off the top of your head what you guys' record was last year i think it was like 17 and two or something 17 and two that's a pretty good record okay so how do you envision your team your I'm, I'm sorry how do you envision your role on the team growing as you continue through through high school uh just try to be one of the best players on the team and try to be like one of the best players in the state and all I love that. Do you have any long-term basketball goals as far as like playing in college or professionally? Uh, yeah, both playing in college and professionally. Okay. And what what advice do you give to younger players who look up to you and want to follow in your footsteps? Uh, just work hard and do whatever it takes to be good, be great. Okay. And at the varsity level, uh, what what has been your biggest challenge at the varsity level? Uh, probably like my size and stuff, like trying to get stronger, like not really being as strong as the other players. Okay, okay. And how what are you doing to overcome that? Uh, probably being in the gym more, like lifting and doing push-ups and stuff. Okay. How, how are you handling the pressure of being like one of the youngest players, if not the youngest player on the team? Um. I mean, it's it's a lot of pressure, but at the same time, it's not like I know what I can do and I know what I can bring to the team. I love that. I love that. And what lessons have you learned from playing against the older and more experienced opponents and, and even teammates in practice? Uh, that you can't be scared and you got to be able to just leave it all out there on the court. I love that. I love that. How do you stay motivated and continue to push yourself to improve? Um, having heart and being able to just continue. So, any goals of like state championships, any of those, any of those goals, any of those type of goals in your in in the future for you? Yeah, I'm trying to make it a state. I'm trying to make it a state. I love that. Do you play? Uh, I guess AAU ball as well. Yeah. Okay, and how, how did that season go for you? It went good. And what was your favorite part about that season? Um, Probably like bonding with my teammates and stuff and getting better. I love that. Anything you want to share with us before I give you your, my rapid five questions? Um, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. Who is your favorite WNBA player? Um, probably... Probably Diana Taurasi. Taurasi. Okay. I like it. I like it. Point guard. Favorite college player. It could be right now or anytime. Um, Malaysia Fawani. Wiley. Okay. Okay. That's my that's my favorite college player too. So I understand. 
If you could play with any player, who would it be? Um, probably Malaysia. Malaysia, okay. Me too. Describe your game in one word. Hardworking. I love that. And one thing you are looking to add to the team this season off the court. Um, leadership. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ms. Jalayla Ligon, it has been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today. I am looking forward to keeping an eye on you going forward. Um, we want to have you come back and tell us how the season is going. Uh, we'll, be on the, we'll be on the lookout. Be sure to share like highlights. Let us know how, how, how the season is going, what your, what your stats are looking like, uh, and, and, and keep, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I love the fact that you are hard working and dedication. Um, I can see your love for the game um, already. Uh, it comes through in the highlights that I saw. So um, I'm excited to see uh, where you where you end up and uh, and how you take how you take and change the game from from here. And super proud uh, of what you've done already. Eighth grade playing varsity basketball. Uh, that is, that is a uh, that's a big win for you um, and a, and a really solid foundation to uh, a career that can take you anywhere you want to go on the court and off the court. So thank you for your time today. Um, and we are going to get out of here, y'all. And with that, until next time, stay tuned. Talk soon, y'all. We're out.